Hello and welcome to English School Online. In this video, you're going to learn the difference between the two sounds a uh, and air, uh, and then how to put them into context. This is really um, useful to know because the air uh sound actually contains the schwa sound, but it is often um, possible to get these two sounds confused. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to actually uh, pronounce the schwa sound, how to pronounce the air er sound, and then I'm going to give you examples of both of these words in context, as I would use them myself here in London and in English speech. This video was a request from Cheryl, one of uh, one of my regular commenters here. So thanks very much, Cheryl. Um, really appreciate you asking this question. Let's dive in and get started. So we're looking at the sound uh, which is the schwa sound, uh, uh, uh. And if you haven't done so already, I really recommend looking at some of the videos up here. I've done loads of videos on the schwa sound, which are really, really useful. The second word is air. Er. Air, er, air, er. okay? This is a diphthong. It's made up of two English sounds. The first sound is e, eh, e, eh, e. Eh. I've got a, a tutorial link to that sound here. And the second sound is the schwa sound. Uh, uh, uh. And all I'm doing is gradually gliding between the two of them. Air, air, air. Air. Okay, so the first thing, exercise one, is this. Practice going between the two sounds. Air. Air. So it's air, air, air. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. I'm not going to go into the schwa sound in too much detail now. Just look at the tutorials that I've got um, linked above for in-depth explanations. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you seven examples of um, one word that's got the air sound in it. I'm then going to compare that to the uh schwa sound that's combined with another letter. And then I'm going to put that combination into an English word or an English phrase that I would use in natural, um, correct English speech, okay? So example one would be the word air, 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 okay? I like breathing air. Uh, uh, uh is the schwa sound on its own, uh. And then if I put the schwa sound into a word, it would be about, about. Example two, Bear, bear, bear. B, b, b. Befriend, befriend. If I become your friend, I could befriend you. Okay, I hope I do become your friend. Mare, 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 mare. M, m, m. M. Millennials. 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 I, because of when I was born, am a millennial. All right? Fair. 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 F. 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 If I'm annoyed, I'll say, for goodness sake. For goodness sake. For goodness sake. Okay, are you seeing the difference here? Air, uh, air, uh, air, uh. Okay, it's really worth learning the these sounds and putting in the effort, all right? Pair, 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 pair. And p, 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 perform, perform, perform. Pair, p, perform. And last example, where, 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 where. And wa, 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 wa. If I'm saying 
quickly in, in normal fast English speech, we were wrong, I would condense that to we were wrong, we were wrong, were wrong, we were wrong, okay? So here's what you need to do. Start one by just learning air, 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 and two, learning the schwa sound itself, uh, 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 linked above um, for uh, schwa tutorials. And then practice putting both of these air and uh sounds into word examples like I've given you here, okay? And you're gonna find it really, really useful. Give the video a thumbs up if you've liked it. Um, subscribe for more videos that are coming out on a weekly basis just like this to help you improve your English speaking. Um, I speak to people all the time here in London that are embarrassed of their accent. People keep saying pardon to them when they're speaking English and that's not what we want. We want you to speak English with confidence um, and credibility and be really proud and happy uh, with your English speech and know that people are going to understand you. So subscribe for more videos that are coming out like this on a weekly basis. Um, Englishschool.online at Instagram for, for content on a daily basis. And go to this video here now to watch this video on the schwa sound um, because people just don't spend enough time learning the schwa sound. It's absolutely essential for your English speech to learn the schwa sound and get it right, okay? Do that, thumbs up, and I will see you in the next video.